So let's let's draw it first. You got you got someone pulling a box with a rope at an angle of theta. Right? I don't even need to draw the person. I just drew the rope. And yeah, it has a mass M. Is that right? Okay. So um, you got your force diagram. And this is a surface with friction, right? So you got weight, you got your tension, things like that. Yeah. So you got your tension, you got your friction, and you got your normal. There's my system. So normal, friction. Now is the block sliding? constant velocity. It is, so that's kinetic friction. Weight is down, rope is at an angle. Right? That one's a little off. Let me fix it. Should be a little bit more like that. Okay. And this looks a little off. So that angle I know, which is the same as that angle. And I'm just going to stop there. All right, and add my forces. So I got tension, weight, friction, and I know that the acceleration is zero because they said the velocity is constant. So my vectors have to add to zero. So this one's normal, this one's mg, this one's kinetic friction, this one's tension, and there's theta. So, using sine, theta, I like sine first because it's really easy to see the side opposite my angle, which is what I highlighted. So now I'm talking about sine theta being what? Tell me. Mm -mm, you're forgetting something. Remember, I only want that length. I'm only looking at that little triangle at the top. This little right triangle is all I'm looking at. The length of this piece here is is what? That's the hard part. There you go. So that piece is mg minus normal. That's like the hard part. And then over, what's the hypotenuse? Yeah. And I don't know what we're solving for, but that's the physics. <laughs> and then cosine theta is what? Good. So you see that kinetic friction is the same length as this side over tension. So that's, for me, the problem's done. I mean, whatever I want to solve for, I can. So if we have that on yeah, I would actually make it simpler. I could have and should have. Um, I should have put. Um, let me see. I should have put. This is actually mu k normal, right? And I should have written it that way. It saves me time. So I should have written what mu k normal over tension. And in a problem like this, typically you might solve for normal, okay? So you would say T sine theta, sure, is mg minus normal. So normal is just gonna be mg minus T sine theta, right? And so then I can plug in cosine theta equals mu k, right, times well, I'm having trouble, times m g minus t sine theta over, hold on, I'm getting confused, over t. I'd probably stop there. I mean, I'm just saying in a typical problem, you might solve for normal, plug that into the other one. Does it matter if it's t sine theta minus mg, or is it going to be mg minus t sine theta? Say that again? Does it matter if it's t sine theta or mg minus t sine theta, or could it be t sine theta minus mg? T sine, sine theta minus mg is wrong. When 
you have to subtract ng from this? Oh, right, but Yeah, I did it all in one step. You should break it up into more steps. But yeah, you're... When you, uh... I'm also, I'm moving two terms over to opposite sides at the same time in my brain. <laughs> but I've done it longer. I've done, done the, you got practice. And it'll become more second nature. You good? You got another question? Here, I'm going to stop it.